Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to make a thread relief. This is uh, an example of a uh, CAD model of 1024 bolt with standard threads. 1024. And you can see the thread relief here at the top of the threads in this portion. So we'll go ahead and start a new part. On the top plane we'll create a circle with um, the diameter equal to the major diameter for the threads. We're looking for this dimension and there is a tolerance. There is maximum and minimum. So what we'll do, we'll take the average of these two numbers. We'll take the max and min, divide them by two. Sum them up, divide them by two. So this is going to be our major, major diameter. Let's uh, go ahead and extrude the sketch half inch. And then we'll, the next step is we'll create the threads. So on this surface, we'll make a sketch and convert this selected surface, this edge, intersecting with this surface into solid line. So you can see what happened here. Now the sketch is basically the intersection between the cylinder and the flat over here. And with this sketch selected, we can create a helix. So as you can see, it's been already pre-selected. So you could set it as heights and pitch, pitch and revolution, however you choose. The key, I'm going to set it as heights and pitch. The key is to make it as a variable pitch. So it goes from heights H0 to 0.35. This is the heights. With these two diameters at the same pitch, same diameter, same pitch. Then after 0.35 to heights of 45, I'm going to start the diameter uh, becoming greater. So the tool, the current tool, moves away from the cylinder. But the pitch is the same, 1 over 24. So as you can see, this is the compounded variable helix. And let's make this visible. Then on the front plane, I'm going to draw a uh, triangle representing the end of the current tool. This is going to be a, a closed profile of what will cut into the metal. This line and then this line with the control key holding. I'm going to make them equal. Set the angle between them to 60 degrees. Then I will make the length of the end of the current tool equal to pitch over 4. That's 1 over 24, which is the pitch. Divide by 4. Uh, this is for external threads. For internal threads, this number would be 8. So we leave it at pitch over 4. And then we'll set the minor diameter to this value, 1394. 1394. This is our minor diameter. So then uh, let's select this point. I'm uh, going to hold the control key and select this line. This is the point, this is the edge. And then I will make them coincident. Then the same thing, I'm holding the uh, control key select this line and select the edge of the cylinder right there and make these two features line and, and the edge collinear so as you can see the sketch turned black meaning that everything is defined on it so now we have the helix with variable path with variable pitch and the closed profile the sketch representing the end of the current tool We'll select both of these features and then we'll create a swept cut. 
follow path, you leave all these features, all these options by default. Click OK and it's asking you which bodies to keep. It will select body 1, the main one. So that's your thread relief with the thread. And we're pretty much done at this point. So what we could do before we finish, let's put a chamfer to the minor diameter, approximately 30 thousandths on this edge. Roll this to the end. And on top of the stem, we can add a hex or we can add a cylinder for an allen wrench, but this is a ball, so let's make a hex. Hex uh, bar stock actually comes in uh, fractional sizes, so let's give this dimension, quarter inch, 250. And uh, let's make this line horizontal. Extrude it 150 thousandths. This is the height of the head. Make sure that this box is checked, merge results. And that's our that's our hex. This is our bolt. Put a little fillet underneath below the head. Ten thousandths. And before we complete this, let's put a chamfer in our hex. We'll revolve around the center line a chamfer. Let's draw it. So I'm gonna create the sketch like this. Everything inside the sketch will revolve around this center line and cut away a chamfer. So let's make this angle 30 degrees. That's going to be our chamfer. Make this chamfer equal to that. Oops, there was a red line. Not good, I have to look at that. Make this point and uh, this point select both of them at the same time. Hold the control key. Make them vertical to each other. And make this diameter also 250 thousandths, quarter inch. And then we'll remove the sharp edge from the tips of the hex. Give it five thousandths. So let's go ahead and revolve this. This puts a nice chamfer into our hex and we have a thread relief. And that's, I hope that helps. That concludes this presentation. Thank you very much for watching and uh, send me comments. Appreciate it. If you want to see any other videos on how to make threads, thread reliefs, let me know, shoot me an email or put it in the comments below. Thank you.